Birds attacking your drone when you're trying to do video or photos is a huge problem, especially here in Australia, but I have a solution to this. G'day superstars, I did a video a little while back explaining how this roll of tape will stop birds attacking your drone. And it does work for the most part, but there are some exceptions. One of those exceptions are magpies. During spring and nesting season in Australia, magpies are absolute nightmares when it comes to your drone. They swoop anything that comes close to their nests. It doesn't matter if you're 20 feet away, 30 feet away, they'll swoop you. If you're walking underneath a tree, they swoop you. If you're riding a bike, they swoop you. If you're flying a drone, they swoop that. And I found that that red tape does not help against magpies at all. In the last video, I received a lot of messages regarding birds of prey and larger birds. Will the tape work against those? And although I haven't tested the tape against larger birds in country areas, I thought I'd do some more testing overall to see if we can come up with a better solution that would work against all birds. And the other question I got is what happens on overcast days when the tape isn't as reflective because the sun isn't as bright. So a mate of mine and myself decided to go to a place that I filmed before with the drone where the seagulls absolutely tore shreds off it. They were so angry when it came to my drone at this particular place that I had to land immediately and abandon all filming for the day. So I thought what better place to test than that? So we drove for an hour and a half to get to this beach and the first test was to test the drone as it was out of the box. Since I already have reflective tape on the drone, I put grey tape over all the reflective parts and we launched it. And as expected, the seagulls swarmed the drone and made it really difficult to fly around. They didn't attack it as such, but they got very, very close. And here's a photo here of how close one of them got. That first test obviously proved that they still hate my drone. Second test, we thought, okay, we're gonna take the gray tape off and we'll have just the reflective red tape on. And we launched it and the sun was shining and the birds did a couple of circles and they got sort of around the drone, but they didn't get anywhere near the drone. They weren't so angry about it. They sort of kept their distance. So the tape does work against seagulls, which I've tested before, so I knew this anyway. But what about overcast days? Well, when the sun was behind the clouds, we launched the drone again and the birds still kept their distance, but they got a lot more adventurous, a lot closer, which says to me, because it's not so reflective when the clouds are out, it's not so effective on those overcast days. The third test we did was with these. These are Master Airscrew Stealth Props. You can get these in a few different colors, but I picked red because it matched the reflective tape on the drone, so I thought more red couldn't hurt. And when these are spinning, you can actually see the red, so it's, it's more visible to a bird maybe than having almost transparent blades spinning. I don't know why these are called stealth props because they make almost as much noise as the normal DJI props, but they are reported to be slightly less in decibels, although I didn't have a meter to check them. But the sound is definitely different. They've got a different pitch to them than normal DJI props. The DJI props seem to be more of a higher pitch, where these seem to be more of a lower pitch. And I did a sound test, you can listen to it right now. These props are also supposed to increase battery life a little bit as well, but I didn't test that because that's not what we're here for today. But if you want me to do a video on Master Airscrew props compared to DJI props, let me know and I'll get it done. And as usual, all links to the things we're talking about in this video are in the description if you want to check them out for yourself. So how well did they work? Well, we put these props on with the reflective tape together to see how well it would work as a team and sent it up and got interesting results. When the sun was out, the birds kept their distance completely. They stayed right away from it. When it was overcast, they got a bit closer, but they weren't as close as they were with just the reflective tape, which says to me that they may be able to see the red spinning props or the sound might be slightly different, um, but it may not bring out as much aggression in the birds as a normal prop does. But I still wasn't convinced. I wasn't convinced this is gonna work against bigger birds. So then we thought, what about one of these? This is called a loom cube. And if you press it, you can see it's quite bright. This loom cube strobe light connects directly on top of your drone. It's uh, via a Velcro-like pad. It's actually an interlocking system that's stronger than Velcro. You just put, stick the pads on top of your drone, which you'll see in this imagery here, and you put the light on top of it and you launch it and away you go. And for people in the US who have to put lights on their drone for flying at nighttime, this light can be seen from three plus miles away and is FAA approved. So we put this light on top of the drone, had the propellers as well and the red tape and we launched it. This time the birds just circled around a little bit and then just 
went on their own merry way and did their own thing. They had no interest in the drone whatsoever. We have quite a few hawks in Australia, but we have to go in country areas to do that. And I haven't filmed in country areas lately, but next time I do, I'll take this and see how it works against a hawk. Although I've never really had hawks attack my drone before, but they have been present when I've been flying it and I can see them and I'm wondering what they're gonna do next because they sit above the drone and just wait. But I can honestly say I'm pretty confident this would work against larger birds as well. You've got the red reflective tape for when it's sunny. You've got the, there's different sound of the props as well as you can see the red props as they're spinning. So they'll be able to see that drone a little bit more. And you've also got a flashing light on top of it. If I was any animal, I'd stay away from it. So is this a final solution to stop birds attacking your drone? I think it is, I think it really is. But I will do further testing, especially with larger birds in those areas to see how they behave against the drone as well. Since you're watching this video, I'm assuming you love drones and everything to do with drones. I've done a video on some cool drone accessories, so go ahead and click here. And thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.